Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we will solve this very interesting question that came up on Gate EC 2024. So th this year only. So like someone sent this question on Telegram and like uh, we hadn't solved this question in our YouTube channel yet. So I thought of solving this question. So at first glance also I was a bit tricked. Then after knowing the conditions then I was able to solve it correctly. So like uh, let's understand what will actually happen in this circuit. So here I have been given a capacitor which has been initially charged with 10 volt, right? And the switch is on here and it, it is connected in series with a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a zener dirt which, whose breakdown voltage is 5 volts. Okay. What is the question asking us? Just after closing the switch, what is the total energy dissipated in the ideal zener dirt? So zener dirt is ideal. It doesn't have any zener resistance with it. Okay. So what will be the total uh, energy dissipated so why will energy be dissipated in the zener dirt uh, is obviously a passive element right energy can only be dissipated across it it can never uh, give energy okay it can never generate energy who will give that energy the capacitor will give it energy so the capacitor have some energy initially right so it has some initial voltage and if i compute the energy it will be half cv square whatever that energy will be so that energy will get divided through this resistor and this zener dirt and now what will happen after closing the switch what will happen after closing, closing the switch one thing we know if the voltage across the zener dot, the reverse voltage across the zener dot is greater than 5 volts, then the zener dot will be on, else it will be simply off, okay, it won't never turn on, okay. So, and here I have 10 volts, so initially, initial when this switch is just turned on, the current is 0, so initial 10 volt is across this zener dot, okay, uh, like 10 volt is across this resistor and zener dot, so if I just compute, like, uh, obviously, the zener dot will turn on, okay, the zener dot will turn on, and if the zener dot turn, turns on, uh, it will provide a, potential of 5 volts okay reverse potential of 5 volts so at this note i have 5 volts at this at this note i have 10 volts so there will be some current flow through the generator which is in the reverse direction of the generator which is fine generator can uh, take current current in the reverse direction so what will be the value of the current so the value of the current io0 plus is what basically 10 minus 5 divided by r what is r r is 10 kilo ohms r is 10 kilo ohms Okay, so this will be 5 milliamperes. Okay, so initial current will be 5 milliamperes. Now, what will happen at steady state? Steady state means the rate of change of capacitor voltage will be 0. If the rate of change of capacitor voltage is 0, that means the current through the capacitor will be 0. Basically, this zener dot will turn off. When will it turn off? When the voltage across it will just become 5 volts or lower than that. Okay, so when the voltage across it just becomes 5 volts, when will it become when the capacitor voltage is also 5 volts right? like the current through this is 0 amperes as it is it has reached steady state so current through the capacitor will also be 0 amperes so drop across the ratio is 0 so if the voltage across it is 5 volts this voltage will also be 5 volts so we know at steady state my vc infinity is basically 5 volts and we know like whenever this switch is turned off right this simple this circuit i can replace with simply a battery of 5 volts Okay, Zenoton can be replaced a battery with 5 volts and a capacitor which has been charged initially with 10 volts, right? If I just keep this capacitor here, 10 volts, okay? T equals to 0 plus. The circuit will look something like this. This is uh, 10 kilo ohms. So, oh, I can name this as R for now. So, this is simply like a R, uh, like series rc circuit right and this potentially 5 volts whenever this capacitor discharges to 5 volts what will happen basically it will reach steady state no current will flow through this battery and both of them will remain at 5 volts right so when will it reach uh, like 5 volts it will reach at infinity time why is it the case because if i have a simple battery and here simple capacitor which is uncharged initially if this is 5 volts when does this capacitor reach steady state when the current through is zero, so whole voltage will come across this capacitor. When will it reach steady state? It will it reaches steady state at t equals to infinity, right? It is exponential curve, and at infinity only the voltage is five volts. It never exactly touches five volts. The same thing is happening over here also. So it never uh, like exactly reaches to five volts. It will be somewhat just somewhat lower than five volts, right? So I, this is a first order circuit, so the response will be exponential. So I can simply write the transient equation. What will be the transient equation? So VC infinity is 5 volts, I know. VC0, VC0 is 10 volts, right? And we don't even need this, we only need a current. So what is like uh, IO0 is or IC0 is 5 milliamperes? What is IO0? 
IO infinity IO infinity will be 0 amps because at infinite time only this will reach 5 volts as at infinite time this is 5 volts only then the current will be 0 else some small amount of current will always flow through it okay so I not infinity will be 0 amperes okay at uh, infinite time it will go to 0 amperes so what will be my current equation my current equation will be I IC T will be simply 5 e raised to power minus T upon tau okay and they have asked us to compute the energy dissipation across the zener tau so like what is the formula for energy dissipation E zener is simply integration of Vz Iz dt from 0 to t right 0 to t but this time like until when the current becomes 0 after that it will be integration will be 0 simply but the current never becomes 0 current becomes 0 at t equals to infinity so here this will be 0 to infinity and zener voltage is obviously constant which is 5 and Iz is was Iz is simply this IO only IC only which is 5 raised to power 5 into e raised to power t minus tau t by tau like 5 into e raised to power minus t upon tau into dt so this will be what this is 5 and uh, just remember this is in milliampes right this is in milliampes don't forget like don't mess up the units because they have asked us in uh, millijoules so you have to keep this in mind so i will always keep my current in milliampere so that the final end result will be in millijoules because voltage is a simple volts not really millivolts so you have to take care of the units while solving gate questions okay so this will be 5 this is dt and this is okay one thing i made a mistake over here this will not be 5 milliamps this will be sorry this will be 0.5 milliamps right so this will be 0.5 milliamps this will also be 0.5 milliamps so this will be 0.5 again okay so this will be 5 by 2 integration of just hold on e raised to power minus t upon tau 0 to infinity dt so what is tau is rc right so in gate exam right you don't put the values of r and c at the start you put the values of r and c at the end where you are just where you will just finish your calculation that is the most important part so this will be 2.5 and this is obviously in millijoules into 1 by 1 by tau minus of 1 by tau into e raised to power minus t upon tau 0 to infinity so obviously e raised to power infinity is 0 and e raised to power 0 is mi minus infinity is 0 and e raised to power 0 is 1 so minus 1 is the answer so minus minus will be plus and this is tau okay so this will be 2.5 into tau right so what is tau tau is r into c tau is r into c so tau is r into c so uh, r is r this is 10 and uh, c is 10 micro so this will be 10 into 10 and this is this overall thing will become milli right and this is already in milliamps so i don't i don't want this to be milli as well so i will multiply 10 raised to power minus 3 to keep this uh, in normal units okay normal units so this will be in normal units so this will become 0 0.25 millijoules so you have to take care of the unit so this 2.5 was already in milli because uh, here right this is in milliampere 0.5 milliampere i've already computed it is in milliampere so i don't want two millis over here so this is this was also in milli why this is 10 kilo ohms time 10 10 micro ohms sorry 10 uh, microfarads so 10 times 10 is 100 micro into milli is uh, sorry uh, micro into kilo is milli itself right so that's why i have to write the milli in terms of this to equate uh, to make this unitless so this has become this has become 10 to minus 3 so overall this will become 0 0.25 millijoules so you have to take care of the units while solving gate question another variation of this question what could have been asked is that let's say if i have a zener directly connected across this capacitor right if i have a zener directly connected across this capacitor which will uh, never happen in like uh, gate examination they may never ask this type of question in gate examination but they may ask like these questions may be asked in interviews so this zener diode has a zener breakdown voltage of 5 volts and this capacitor is directly connected across this okay which is charged to initial to 10 volts now can you tell me how much energy will be dissipated across this zener diode 
now can tell me that so it will be very interesting like uh, if i just turn this switch off at t equals to 0 then energy dissipated in zener diode right so basically e, e zener right so this will again be a very interesting question to solve so you try to solve this question and put the answers in the comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the concept if you like the intuition so uh, in the next uh, weekend right this saturday rl response will be coming so do watch that it is very important for interview purpose and like in general for uh, solving first order circuits it is very important so i hope you will watch that video and do, don't forget to share it with your friends thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video